today, but not until then. We've got those rounds of rain coming in. You see this batch here out of the southwest. This is moving to the north and east. We not only have good surface moisture, but we've got a nice plume of it coming in out of the areas of the Pacific. We also have that filling in uh, through most levels of the atmosphere right now. As we look ahead, we're going to see the flood watches in place still for the mountains, the foothills, the northern Piedmont. We've got river flood warnings that go into effect tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. We're expecting the Dan River to reach flood stage at that point. Minor flooding expected. That's the good news that it's only minor expectations now that could change though, depending on the runoff from tomorrow as we have one to two inches of rain still on the way. And so widespread rain. We're looking at heavy pockets at times. We can get some breaks in the action, but more of this is going to fall along the North Carolina Virginia border, and that's where we're really concerned for those low lying river crossings. Uh, some of those spots around the streams and creeks just in your neighborhoods also impacted more rapidly as we head through Saturday. Look at the fronts. We've got them stretched out here to the south, so we know that that's in place. We've got that surface moisture going. We've got areas of low pressure surface and aloft. All of this combined to just give us a really good soaking through your Saturday, and unfortunately, with the northeast wind at the surface coming off the coast. It keeps us in the 40s. We're chilly. 45 degrees right now in Burlington. We're at 41 in Danville and 42 in Galax. So pretty much steady with these temps all across the region. Upper 30s, we might see that dip from time to time as the rain may come in and cool you down a touch. Here are some of the heavier pockets of rain impacted by these lows aloft. So this is what's happening here aloft to help produce those showers and storms at the surface. Now for us, it hasn't been storms yet. It was the other night while we were having very cold freezing rains. A lot of elevated convection there. We've got a front though coming in that could change things up and produce not only more heavy rain, but bring in some lightning Sunday. Here's the heavy rain where that rock slide occurred along Interstate 40. Remember the rocks in the soil conditions, very wet and underlying foundation of those rocks was disturbed by all this rain within the last few days. They've seen some five to six inches there and anywhere from three to about two and a half inches just within the last seven days. Also near Statesville as we go through Moxville and then around the region in the triad about three and a half inches too since last Saturday. All right, shower chances, Danbury. We look down south. We're looking at the light rainfall moving in from there and from cashiers, the moderate pockets will be in place. So your warnings up for the Danville River, Danville area, the Dan River, Caswell, Pennsylvania and Rockingham counties all included in this winds out of the northeast at about five to 10 miles an hour and shower chances are going to continue out there for us as we look ahead. Your hour by hour forecast and want to show you this. Yeah, not so excited about the 40s, but watch some of these streams of heavier downpours may greet us from Martinsville south into Reedsville could see a couple of these rounds roll through the northern parts of the triad. But then we lift in this warm front. That warm front is going to lift Lift in and it's going to boost temperatures. First, it'll see the impact here in Ashboro, Burlington, the southern Piedmont. As it lifts in, it's going to bring in very strong winds. We may see sustained winds as this front comes in at about 20, 25 miles an hour for two to three hours time at least, and that could put us in a position to get some small trees coming down. Then the wind switch, uh, switches to the northwest. We cool off. We're in the 40s as we go into early Monday morning and throughout the day. We're in the 50s to 40s by late night. So yeah, changing weather pattern for us. We dry out and we continue to see very chilly conditions. Here's your seven day forecast. The warmest day looks to be briefly on Sunday with those 60s windy. We've got 56 on Monday, 58 on Tuesday, and your rain chances return late next week. But right now we're just focused on three or four days of good sunshine and good drying out after such a muddy stretch. All right, thanks, Michelle. Don't go anywhere, Chris Lee. Next